up you guys after Cherry X here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Roswell. Uh, this is season 1 episode 13. Um, so just checking in how are you guys going with the show? Are you guys enjoying the reactions? Um, yeah I'm curious. Because uh, like we're halfway through season, well we're just over halfway through season 1 and um you know, I wanted to commit to at least one season, and I don't know whether or not I'm going to be doing season two or not. Uh, but I'm curious how many of you guys want me to do that. Like, what's? Yeah, I don't know. It seems to be. It seems to do all right on the poll, so that's that's a thing. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Let's uh, get into the episode. Oh, Thor, how you have changed. Trying to make you look very creepy. Can you even see what through that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know about the sighting last week. Dry lightning, deputy, and it is your job to explain that to them. Yes, sir. Thank you, deputy. Been a while, Junior. How'd you get past the front desk? Better beef up security. Heard you had a boy. Bachelor myself. No kids for me. You're not welcome here, Hub. Oh, Junior. I expect more from you than dumbass small town threats. Well, I just wanted to stop by. In regards to your dad, from what I hear, you're starting to come around to his way of thinking. See ya, Junior. Who's that? That deputy was a bona fide alien hunter. Okay. Save me. I'm a human trapped in an alien body. Excuse us. <laughs> You realize that we've just lost our last shred of dignity. I mean, it was probably him looking at it before. That's what I was thinking, but... I am Xenoplox from the planet Zetagon. I come to destroy humanity and return to my home planet. Okay. Well, then it's really great that you're starting you out with a nice... You look walked off the set of Galaxy Quest. <laughs> oh, these guys again. The crash gen. Can I show you to a table? Table, yes. Table would be lovely. Jen, table? Uh, so can I get you a beverage to start? Beverage would be lovely. Jen, beverage? I'll have a Coke. Yeah, you know what? I would love to try one of those uh, alien encounter. Yeah, okay. So uh, we've got one Coke and one alien encounter. Just be right back. Thanks. Actually, you know what? There is just <laughs> one more little thing. Why don't you tell me what really happened in September? Well, I went to sleep, and then that song played. Michael, I've got to talk to you about something. And then someone woke personal. her up Nothing's when September personal. ended. How did you do with Maria? Too personal. No, I mean, how did you stop? I can't stop thinking about Liz. Every time I see her, she just starts going into slow motion. Maxwell, you got to be strong. You can't let yourself be led around by your energy source. <laughs> it wasn't easy for me either, but you gotta throw yourself into something else. Anything else, something just to get your mind off her. Throw myself into something. Alien takedown? What is that, some sort of wrestling match? Yeah, the alien takedown. Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, you know what I do? I'm here trying to figure out the meaning of my existence. And I'm tired of having to wage the kooks like you and the freak shows like this in order to do it. Nothing personal, but this freak show keeps my kooky daughter and myself off the streets. Mom, Michael, Michael, Mom. Nice to meet you. That was some guffaw. Guffaw? Yeah, my mother. Great first impression. Why would I want to make an impression? Evans, I want you to meet a legend. This is Everett Hubble. You are looking at one of the few men in the world rumored to have made direct contact. Direct contact? That sounds exciting. That's one way of looking at it. So, what did this alien look like? Look like you, actually. Or me. They're not little green men, you know. <laughs> Trying to get Hub to participate in our final roundtable discussion on Sunday. I'm just passing through. Nice little souvenir shop you got going here, Melty. You want to do more? Get Hubble to do the roundtable. Disappeared almost 30 years ago. Nobody's seen him since. The man's an enigma. So why'd you kill the aliens? What aliens? 
from the 47 crash. Why'd they kill him? Well, maybe you should visit our theories on 47 exhibit. But I thought this was the information boost. Well, yeah, it is. Mud. What? When you're with her, think about mud. It helped me. <laughs> Michael, I don't need some trick. I can handle this. I mean, you did ask him, though. Hi, um, I just want to talk to you about the luncheon that we're catering. Oh, yeah, if it's work-related, sure. Um, I just... It's just that, um... Larry and Jennifer are back. You know, the ones that were there the day that I got shot. And now Jennifer won't leave. She just planted herself in the crash down. It's like, I don't know, she's been sitting there for hours. And I don't know, it, just, it kind of feels like she's been watching me or something. So I came here to tell you that they're here because they're missing what should happen. I wanted you to know because I know this about women. Mud. What? Pie. Mud pie? For the lunch, the crash down is, is catering tomorrow. I was thinking about mud pie. Okay, um... I'll see if I can arrange it. I gotta go. I'm, I'm really busy. Looking for someone? What'd you come back here for, Hubble? Well, I've been tracking what's been going on around here for the last few months. The shooting in September at the crash dam. What happened over there? You got to my father when he was at his weakest, and you pushed him over the edge. Because of you, I had to have him committed. Well, now you're giving me more credit than I deserve. Get the hell out of here. I thought we already talked about it. I'm not talking to you as the sheriff, no. This is coming from me, from everything you've caused me. I don't ever want to have to see you again. I understand you'd be upset, but remember this. All those years your father's been in that nut house, I've been living in my own hell. Now, from what I hear, your dad isn't all there these days. But I'll bet you still have a lot of questions about your father. About that silo murder and why he was arrested. I'm the only person in the world that has the answers to those questions. I was there. I saw it all. I'm your link, Junior. So before you kick me out of town, you ought to think about that. I can help you. We can help each other. If you're a witness, why they not go to trial? What? You know, this is going to be your eighth cup. Do you want to switch to decaf? Why do I like wired to you? Strung out? No, 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 you don't. Not at all. You know, it's just that your eyes are a little bit red. Great. And now he's going to know I've been crying. He hates it when I cry. Larry? I guess I better go. No, you know, just wait. Here. Just put this on your eyes. I'll never know. I mean, it's going to rob a makeup off, but all right. Uh, about the, the final round table on Sunday. Well, Milton, just wanted you to know that any way we might be able to accommodate you. I'm a doer, not a talker, kid. Right. So I, I'm just curious. I mean, you work here, you sort of get the bug. Did you see something? Well, let's just say this. This place you're working at, this place, is a joke. If these people knew the truth, they wouldn't all be laughing so damn hard. Is it true what Milton said? Then you disappeared 30 years ago? I didn't disappear. I'm standing right in front of you. That night of the murder, at the silo, Hubble was there. Oh, yeah. He couldn't let go of his wife. That was his problem all along. Dad. His wife and his kid. He didn't have a wife and kid. You know how guys get hooked on things? So obsessed with something, they forget about you? Yeah. Larry's been chasing UFOs ever since that day. At the beginning, I was kind of into it, but now I'm tired of adventure. I just want to settle Tell down. I really want a normal guy. I can understand that. You got one too, huh? A unique boyfriend? Unique, yeah, that's a good word for Max. Max? The experience of Mr. Grabowski has been well documented. His encounter with the smooth-skinned ovoid EBE contributes to a growing body of evidence as brave men like himself bring their stories to the public eye. Thank you, Mr. Grabowski. Our next direct contact witness is Lawrence Trillin. Right here. Good afternoon, Lawrence. Do you mind if I call you Larry? No, that would be great. First of all, Mr. Price, I just got to say that, you know how some people say that, that Clapton is God, you know? But I say you. You are God. I mean, I got, I got goosebumps. Okay, let's go to your encounter.
Yeah, right. Um, it happened right here, right in Roswell, New Mexico. September 17th. I was in the Crash Down Cafe. Now, that's right across the street. I'm sitting there. Two guys come in. Boom! They start having an argument. Boom! A gun is pulled. Sorry. Oh. No, that's okay. So these two guys, they start, to, ah, they start to struggle, okay? Boom! A girl is shot. Boom! A seemingly normal teenage boy. Now, this teenage boy, Mr. Frakes, is someone who looks just like you and me. Boom! He goes up to the girl, he puts his hand over her, her wound, and then, boom! She, ah, she's miraculously healed. Well, all I can say is, boom! What do you think? I'm insulted by this ridiculous story. Yeah, well, he is here. He is right here, okay? Now, he's right here. Right now, he's in the very That's audience. Enough, monkey man! Listen, cool it, Frakes! Security, you and me, Evans. Let's get him. Hey, this is the guy right here. This is the guy. He's the one. He's the guy. Well, he may not be the best convention coordinator, but I would hardly call him an alien. You're just like the rest of them, Frank. There was a bullet. The bullet disappeared. So where's the bullet? I can't the, bullet. the bullet disappeared. It was never found. Where's the bullet? I know how it feels not to be listened to. I believe you, kid. Tell me everything. Tell me about Max Evans. Tell me what you saw. You can't quit now. The alien takedown is in an hour. Ernie, you have nothing to be afraid of. Reaching free is a puppy dog. Look, he's not really going to do anything really, Rob. I realize you suffered a broken rib last year. Fine, too. I... Did you not receive my gift basket? Look, Ernie, if you don't do this, I'm broke, okay? I'm out of business, okay? I, I have half my annual revenue tied up in this, this thing. This person hurt themselves, though. Hello? Oh. So who are they? The victims. They're just people. People with bad luck. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Jimmy. Your father may have made a mistake that night, pulled the trigger on the wrong man. But he wasn't crazy. You already know that, don't you? You knew that when I showed up here. It was in your eyes. All your father wanted to do was to help this world out. And they hung him on a cross for it. This isn't just some happy-go-lucky alien we're looking at. This is a killer, Jimmy. If you know something about it, it's our duty to team together. Now, do something. What about this kid? Max Evans. He have something to do with all this? Maybe. Do you find that all men are obsessive? Absolutely. Yeah. No question. They find something. Usually something completely amazing. Mm. Oh, like football. Or oh, UFOs. UFOs. Oh, and then they just don't let it go. Until it consumes every waking minute of their day. Sorry, couldn't help but deeply relate. Yeah, but then they use it as an excuse. Oh, whenever it's convenient for them. To just completely ignore you. Yeah, and it's so clear why they're doing it. Oh, that. yeah, it's an avoidance thing. Mm -hmm. They hide behind their obsession. Because what they really are is afraid. Deathly afraid. Of commitment. Okay, I got it. Crystal clear. But what if uh, there's a guy whose obsession is a woman? Oh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> Amy, where are you? The match is almost over. What? Ernie showed up? Better call an ambulance, huh? Bang! <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> are you okay? No. <sighs> I'm just resting. Oh, you dear, dear boy! <gasps> it was easy money. Mud. <laughs> mud. <laughs> what? Mud. I'm thinking about mud. Why do I even try? <laughs> what do I have to do to convince you to, to do this panel? Well, son, your tenacity has won me over. Really? I'm no Captain Kirk, but I'll give it my best shot. Great. Thank you. My slides are back home. I'd go get them, but uh, I busted a hose on my way up. My truck's down at the garage waiting for the park. And then I'll drive you. That's what I thought you'd say. We could talk on the way over. Hey, what the hell's going on? What's that guy doing with Max? I don't know. Tell me what he's doing. All right. He came up to me after the panel discussion, right? He asked me questions about Max, you know, what he did the day of the shooting. I did help, Pablo. 
we tracked him. We were just going to get the truth. He told me he wouldn't hurt the man. Hello, Simon. Didn't he? He shot the drifter, not you. Whatever you do, Jimmy, don't trust him. Sir? Pull over to the side there. I want to show you something. You recognize it? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been here. It was just getting dark. All I needed was a pack of matches. So he thinks that he's the one that there, killed there they his were wife, right there I guess? on the counter in a fishbowl, 10 cents a pack. Mr. Hubble, we're going to make better bacon back in time matches, for the channel. And you know what? I, I didn't have it, not not even 10 cents. I thought about going back and, and getting some spare change where I kept it in, in the ashtray. But I said, hey, bud, but don't make me embarrass myself in front of my lady. Uh, it's my anniversary. And he says, uh, have a good time. It's on the house. I don't understand. I didn't have a good time. Not that night. Not any night since. Jen, hi, listen, I have had an epiphany. Really? I thought you said it was an allergy attack. Listen, Jen, last night I spent two hours with a guy who spent his entire life hunting aliens. Now, that is not me, all right? I do not want to become that, okay? I am not a hunter. You know, I am a gatherer, all right? A gatherer of, of, of information, a seeker of truth, okay? And I do not, I do not want to hunt anyone anymore. Wait, why, why are you wearing that? Yeah, why are you working? It's busy. Liz needed me to help out. Oh, my God, Jen, this is fate. Kismet, I mean, this is where we belong. Where? Here, in Roswell. I can, I can pursue my passion right here where it all started. Yes, listen, we can settle down. Okay, we can get a little place, you know. We don't have to travel. I am ready. Jen, I am, I am ready to marry you. Oh, my God. Larry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> She never did get my surprise. And I never did get hers. He's a good dog while you're telling Not the story. Not until I got a copy of the coroner's report. There it was in black ink. Three months pregnant. A little girl that said she was carrying our child. Surprise. I'm sorry. And so am I. Four innocent people lost their lives starting that day. My wife my baby that drifter and uh, and me dead man walking that's what I felt all those years the only thing kept me alive was you me but I don't know you I know you well mister you are making a big mistake I know how you can change your face your body you're a shapeshifter because you're always running. You changed yourself into that drifter when you killed my Sheila trying to get her car. What were you running from then? Somebody else find out your little secret? Sir, I know you're upset, but I did not kill your wife. I wouldn't kill anybody. Valenti told me about the healing, about the handprint, just like on Sheila. I am not him. Whoever you think I am, I swear I am not him. I know who you really are, what you're capable of, and I won't let you kill again. Hey! Son of a bitch is gonna die today and nothing's gonna stop me. So go ahead! Unload every bullet in your chamber. Only takes one. Your father couldn't do it, and neither can you. I didn't know this was gonna happen. I didn't know he was as dangerous as he was. What did you tell him? Why did he come after me? You're the sheriff. You're supposed to protect me. But all you've done is go after me. You, you believe all these crazy things. You're just like Hubble. You want me? Well, here I am. 
Take me. Max, come on, just relax. No, no. Son, would you treat your son this way? Get out of here. The both of you. You were never here. Go on. Come on, let's go. The guy was crazy, Max, all right? He didn't know what he was talking about. I don't think he was crazy, Michael. I think the one we've been looking for has killed people. A lot of people. Sheriff Valeni, I've been involved in a code four. I got one man down. My 1020 is the abandoned Pepper's Cafe at Bitter Lake. Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this, very edit, for example. Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty-o, uh, well that was Roswell Season 1 Episode 13. Um, you know, uh, the end there might leave Valenti kind of backing off a little bit maybe, because that, um, that was stressful I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, I enjoyed that episode. What did you guys think? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.